guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's tutorial we're creating this very stylish pants or trouser and as you can see it is a trouser that can be styled in different ways you can use it in a casual or formal setting please totally ignore the rumpled clothes i just wanted to style it in different ways for you guys to see you will be needing one and a half yards to two yards of stretchy fabric depending on your size i bought two and a half yards and that's what i used for the little top you saw and the pants so i think the pants took about two yards and the top just half yard that's what i used in making that top ensure that you purchase a stretchy fabric that is a bit thick not those soft stretchy fabric in the market that would not really be good for this style so get something thick and stretchy i actually wanted to draft straight on the fabric but i realized that chalk and stretchy fabric do not work well together so you can go ahead to draft this on your fabric but for proper understanding i'm going to be using pattern paper for now okay so um just for you guys to see, see all the lines properly okay the first step guys is to go ahead and mark out my starting line this paper is not that straight so i'm going to mark out a starting line then proceed to take my half inch allowance that i'll be using to join the trouser to the waistband and after marking the half inch allowance i would connect the point then as usual i like my waistband to be 1.5 inch and that 1.5 inch is what i will place on that 0.5 inch allowance and take all my measurements okay so the first measurement i'm going to be taking is my hip point i'm going to cut out this first off so like i said i'll place the 1.5 inch on the same allowance line and take all my measurements normally i like to work with a hip point of 10 and a crotch depth of 11 but i don't want this particular trouser to be too high wasted so i decided to use 9.5 inches as my hip point and then 10.5 inches as my crotch depth okay i am going to proceed to mark the point again just to get a straight line and i'll go ahead to connect the point into a straight line and i'll label the hip area hl as in hip point then the crotch area cl if you are struggling with taking trouser measurements please refer to my last trouser tutorial video where i explained how to take all this measurement okay the next step is to mark my waist to tie line which is 14 inches i am going to go ahead to mark that again so that i can connect the point into a straight line and i'll proceed to mark my waist to my knee line which is 22.5 inches and i'm going to mark that i would also proceed to mark that again and connect the point after connecting the point i would label the tie line area tl the knee line area kl okay then i'll proceed to mark the length of my trouser i want the length of my trouser to be 44.5 inches i'm going to mark that and i'll add two inches for hemming allowance which i later reduced to one but i marked two inches at this point so 44.5 inches and 46.5 inches and i'll connect the point like i said i added two inches for my hemming allowance which i later reduced i am going to proceed to label this line trl as in trouser length line and this part ha as in hem allowance or hemming allowance okay one important thing i want you guys to note is the fact that since this is a stretcher pant we'll be subtracting a lot from our normal measurement so that we get a trouser that fits like a glove okay our first step is to divide our hip circumference mine is 41 by 4 i got 10.25 then subtract one inches from that okay this is very very um, good for a stretchy pant okay i'm going to go ahead to mark that 9.25 on my crotch line and i'll mark the same thing on the waistline and i'll connect that into a straight line the next step is to go ahead and get your crotch extension you divide your hip circumference minus 41 by 16 okay 41 divided by 16 gives me 2.56 i'll subtract one inch from that and i would have 1.56 and that's what i'm going to go ahead to mark as my crotch extension 
ensure to calculate your own measurement okay don't use my own okay just proceed to connect the points just like you see me doing okay in order to get a better fit at the crotch area i'm going to go in from this point by 0.3 to 0.4 inches okay so i'm going to connect the points like that it's just make our crotch relax better okay so from this point i'm going to measure my waist divided by 4 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 minus 1 is 6.5 so i'm going to mark that then i'm going to connect from the waistline to the hip line using the straightest part of my craft ruler just like you've seen me doing okay now proceed to divide what you have on your crotch line into two equal halves this will help the even distribution of the trouser so i'll just fold my tape into two just to get the half point and i would mark that from beginning to the end just to enable even distribution of the measurement okay the next step is to use your meter rule to connect all the points okay just because i wanted my trouser to be very fitted at the tie area i measured what i have at that tie area and what i had there was 5.5 so i took out half an inch from what i had at that point and just to give it a bit of shape basically but if you don't want that you can just go straight down you know measure that 5.5 straight down so what i'm going to do now is to measure that same five inches that i have at this side on the other side because the measurement has to be even okay if i had taken 5.5 i'll have to do the same thing on this other side after which i'll proceed to connect the points just as shown and because i just want this to be a straight trouser i'm just going to mark that five inches on both sides of the knee line as well just for emphasis purpose i said i want this trouser to be a straight trouser so i'm going to just take that five inches from beginning to the end to the trouser length line to the hem allowance line everything is going to be five five inches on each side of the line and i'll proceed to connect the point with my meter rule after connecting with my meter rule i'll just proceed to cut out just as shown okay there's one more thing we need to do to give our crotch area a relaxed fit which is to go down from that point by one inch and connect to the side seam area just as shown this is something i should have done in the last trouser tutorial i made but i did not do that and the trouser still came out nice but it is important to do this we will be cutting this out later so carry your front pattern and place on a fresh pattern paper to cut out your back piece ensure you have two inches at this point and ensure you have about 1.5 inches at the other side as you can see that is not looking like 1.5 inches so i'm going to go ahead to add more paper okay also ensure you have about 1.5 to 2 inches extra at the top of the waistline too pin your front pattern on your back pattern so it doesn't move around too much and that's just what i've done proceed to extend all the lines just like i'm doing it's going to be very important for what we want to do next okay to make space for the bum bum and also knowing that our back is not straight i'll be going in at this point by two inches i will proceed to replace the two inches i took by the side and i would mark two inches from the side okay i would also mark the same two inches on my hip line as well as the crotch line and then proceed to connect the point using the straightest part of my curved ruler okay on the tie line i'll take one inch okay on the knee line i'll also take one inch and i'm going to take that one inch until the end but i'll connect this one first connect from the crotch line to the tie line from the tie line to the knee line make sure you do not have any sharp edges okay so i'll mark that one inch till the end and i'll connect with my meter row the next step is to proceed to extend the crotch line depending on the size of your bum bum that's what you will take at this point for me for my size i'm going to be using one inch at this point to make space for my bum bum if you have a very big ass you can do 1.5 now the next step is to come down from that point by 0.5 inch to make space for the bum bum as you can see i went down by 0.5 inch after which i'll proceed to go up at this point just to make space for the bum bum as well by one inch if you have a bigger ass do 1.5 i'm even wishing i did 1.5 at this point for this stretchy pant in particular because one is usually perfect for me but for this trouser i noticed that i should have just done you know 
1.5 but it was still perfect okay the next step is to go ahead and extend your hip line and your crotch line this will enable us draw a back crotch curve because i got a lot of questions about this on my ig about how to get the curve accurately so what you need to do is to measure what you have on this your hip line after you've taken that measurement what i have there is about 9.5 you go ahead to put that same measurement on your hip line for your back okay another way to do it is to note where your hip stops at this point and off then go in by two inches from that point remember we went in by two inches at the top so you connect all the lines just like this and if you go ahead to you know check out what you have at that point you will see that you still have that 9.5 inches and it corresponds with the 9.5 inches in front so you are on the right track okay so i'm going to proceed now to connect the points so just connect yours exactly as i think this should be easier than the previous one that i just connected without explaining how to do it okay in order to finish up this end i'm going to connect from that point to the tie line area just like that so um yeah i'm going to go ahead to use a better marker i don't know why i made this down part really <laughs> rough like this but ju it's just a simple connection guys very very easy mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to connect from this point to the side just like you've seen now the next step is to carefully cut out just as shown now the next step is to cut off this one inch that we went down by at the top of the front pattern ensure you do not forget to do that okay the next step is to proceed to cut them out on fabric you will cut out two pieces of each pattern which i've done the only thing i did um extra is to reduce the hem allowance like i told you guys you know the hem allowance i wanted to use is two inches but i reduced it to one inch okay and that's what i have at that point that's the only change i made now carefully take out your pin so we can work on the trouser itself the first thing i'm going to do is to place my front pattern right side facing each other and stitch using 0.5 inch seam allowance on the wrong side and here's what i have guys after doing that okay in order to cut out the front design i'm going to fold my fabric into two then quickly cut out a little piece first and i'm going to explain the measurements i used okay the first step i took was to draw a straight line at this point since the edge of this fabric is not straight so after marking that straight line i'm going to divide my hip measurement by two 41 divided by two is 20.5 5. so you subtract 0.5 from that 20.5 to get 20 inches the reason why we are subtracting is because this fabric is stretchy okay so that when it stretches it fits properly do not mind that i went ahead to mark 21 here it's 20 inches i ended up using okay so please use 20 inches i mean do the calculation and use your own measurement so i went ahead to cut this out if you are using a non-stretchy fabric you don't need to minus anything okay so the length that i'll be working with is 10 inches which is what i went ahead to mark and i connected the point i actually wish that i had used 11 or 12 inches because it wasn't as long as the ladies own in the video and i wasn't too happy about that now i'll proceed to stitch on the chalked area okay and i'll be back i've gone ahead to do that so now i'm just going to read reduce the excess allowance at this point and then proceed to flip it to the right side okay so i'll go ahead to iron this you need to iron that okay so to cut out the small fabric we're going to use to gather it so i'm going to proceed to measure what i have here which is six inches so that when i fold it it's going to become three inches and i'll use half inch to stitch so that when i'm done stitching it to be like 2.5 do you get so for the length i'm going to be using seven inches so that um about one inch will serve as the seam allowance okay so what i i did cut here was seven inches so basically on fold what i cut out is seven inches by three inches as you can see okay so head over to your sewing machine and stitch just like i've shown you with 0.5 inch seam allowance i flipped mine to the right side as you can see i'm going ahead to iron it okay so i've gone ahead to iron it guys so i'm going to stitch it this way um i'm going to stitch using 0.5 inch seam allowance at this point as you can see i've gone ahead to stitch what i'm going to do now is to trim off my excess 
allowance and i'll flip it to the right side okay as you can see the stitch is hidden inside uh -huh. if you have a weaving machine weave it too uh -huh. now here's the one we have that i've already gone to iron as well i'm going to take the half um, or the midpoint rather i'll take the midpoint and i'm going to put in the this band okay and it's going to help us gather the fabric basically On the front trouser, I'm going to come down by 0.75 at this point and 0.75 at the other point and that's where I'm going to be attaching this um, front design, okay? So I'm going to proceed to pin both sides down just like you see me doing. I'm just going to pin it down i also pin the other side as well and one important tip to note is to ensure that the curve matches make sure you're pinning each edge to the curve of the trouser okay it's going to fall in place don't worry do not forget to stitch the back pattern by 0.5 inch as well place them right sides facing each other and stitch so i've gone ahead to do all of that and i'm going to place them right sides facing each other and i'm going to stitch the side with 0.5 inch seam allowance when i'm done with that i'll also stitch the inseam area with 0.5 inch to the end i'll do the same thing for the other side and the other side as well i know you get what i mean at this point i went ahead to try it on i've not even attached the waistband and everything is already given i realized that this waistband attachment video is not as detailed as i would have loved it so please refer to this video i'm showing you at the moment female trouser cutting and sewing on my channel okay the first step is to go ahead and measure around your waist so that you are sure of what you are cutting okay and then um, after doing that note what you have at that point and bring in your waistband go ahead to place your waistband on fold the width of the waistband if you remember i wanted mine to be 1.5 inches and i'm going to add 0.5 inch to that so what i have there is two inches which is perfect the extra 0.5 inch added will be used to fix the waistband there are two methods you can use to attach your waistband but i'll be using i'll be explaining both of them and i'll be using one which is not like the professional method but also explain the professional method i'll go ahead now to loosen the back of my trouser to enable me to attach my waistband the, the non-professional way but it's still okay do you get uh -huh. i am going to explain the professional or knits method now and for it to work for you you know we measured around our waist at first make sure what you have there is equal to your measurement plus 0.5 inch seam allowance for stitching this part like this can you see you stitch 0.5 inch let me just use my pin to demonstrate it, you know the stitch after doing it this way then you fold it back and attach it like that so you will not have any joining which means that you don't even have to um, open up the back just like i did but for the second method i'm going to fix it this way i'm going to pin the waistband to the trouser right sides facing each other around can you see and you know that i told you that i opened the back area so that i can close it up at that end when i'm done it doesn't mean it's bad but it's not a professional way to do this okay so i'm going to stitch that around and once i'm done i'm going to proceed to use my stitch in a ditch method to close the waistband and that's exactly what i'm doing at this point i explained it in detail in the video i referred you guys to so what i'm going to do now is just to fold the back and stitch from the front in the ditch so that you will barely see any stitch in front do you get and it holds the back like that so that's what exactly what i'm going to do from beginning to the end i'm really sorry guys because this is not as detailed as i would have loved it to be so please check out that video i explained the waistband fixing properly the stitch in a ditch method okay even if you use the professional method you still have to use the stitch in a ditch method to finish it up okay so um yeah here's what i have i'm going to go ahead now to close the waistband at the back just like this using 0.5 inch seam allowance i'm just going to weave it guys i don't really have strength for professional metal today and i'll proceed to hem the base of my trouser and we're done with this tutorial i'll see you in my next one bye